there are five things that you may be doing that are sabotaging your skincare regime. We got a saboteur on our hands. In other words, they're not doing the best they could be doing for you. Let's look at these five things. Hot showers sound like a wonderful idea at the end of the day, but let me tell you, they're probably not as great as you think they are. I'm guilty as charged, I used to love a hot shower. But unfortunately, what they do is they tend to strip away your oils, which is part of the normal biological processes of our skin. They provide a protective layer. So if you're getting into a hot shower and you're scrubbing away and using hot water, you tend to wash away these oils and rarely do we replace them, particularly as men, uh, using a body moisturizer. So if you can, I would lower the temperature of my showers. In other words, have warm showers uh, rather than hot uh, showers. And if you're macho enough, maybe you should uh, have a cold shower. That'll also assist your immunity. I've spoken to many men who love a face scrub. They love the little your almond kernels or whatever it is they're putting in them please don't do this again like with a hot shower these will strip away the upper layers of the skin and can cause irritation you might feel squeaky clean at the end of them but this is only temporary what you're doing is you're taking away uh, the top layer of the skin you're disrupting the acid mantle the stratum corneum is uh, it's probably a more technical term for it and this will cause trans epidermal water loss which means that your skin will become dry over time so scrubbing the face with these little micro particles um, disrupts that layer think of it as a defense barrier if you like and then it will almost always cause irritation what man doesn't love scent uh, of course scent is a masking mechanism particularly in skincare it's also a marketing mechanism to make you want to buy it and use it and all the rest of it. But scents, uh, regardless of whether they are essential oils or fragrance oils, can cause irritation. And this is one thing that we'd love to avoid, of course, in our skincare regime, and that is irritation. Uh, some people tolerate scents uh, fairly well. They could go through their entire life almost and not have a problem. Others will flare up. Others may flare up over time. For example, if there was a particular scent that, that uh, you, you enjoyed as a younger man, you're finding that uh, increasingly that uh, you have less tolerance for that. It might be that they've changed the formulation. It might be that you've just had enough of your scent. In other words, your body is telling you we've had enough. It's a negative feedback. I'm not saying to avoid scents altogether, but if you find that you're breaking out or you have uh, some uh, sensitivities, Remove the scent and just sort of test it out and see. We've all used cartridge razors and there's a tendency for people, both men and women, to keep them longer than they should. Probably the cartridge razor is that bacteria and whiskers and lather and all sorts of things get trapped in between each of those blades. Uh, that becomes a house party for bacteria. Let's party! It's a problem that will cause irritation and you'll end up in this constant loop of, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, I feel irritated. You know, what's going on? Every time I shave, I break out or I feel, you know, there's red and, and, and sore and all the rest of it. The other thing, of course, is that uh, you need to bear down with a cartridge razor, which can cause all sorts of problems in and of itself. So yeah, the cartridge razor, I'd think long and hard about it. Or if you're wedded to the idea of a cartridge razor, you need to change out the cartridge fairly frequently. Like I've heard of people keeping them for like three or four months. Please don't do that. I know it's expensive and that's why people do it, but you really should be trying to sanitize them either with the rubbing alcohol, you know, dip them in there. Uh, but that's going to cause problems anyway because of the silly little aloe vera strip that they put on them and they're just, yeah, why bother? Sunscreen has nothing to do with how, how hot it is outside or how sunny it is outside. You should use sunscreen daily, regardless of whether uh, the weather is, or well, the day outside is overcast, regardless of whether it is cooler than you think. You know, oh, it's a little bit cooler today. I don't think I'll wear, I'll give the, the sunscreen a miss. Please don't do that. Please do not do that. Wear your sunscreen daily, regardless of whether you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside or just a little bit of time outside. It should just be a blanket product use. That's it, just use sunscreen every single day. In fact, 
most dermatologists that I've spoken to have said if there was one product that they would recommend in anyone's skincare regime, it would be, you guessed it, sunscreen. Two different types. There's what they call a chemical and a mineral sunscreen. Uh, mineral tends to leave it more of a, a whitish cast, but it is predominantly made of uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Please don't panic. It's not, it sounds kind of sinister, but it's not. This is great if you have sensitive skin and um, it is a very, very effective uh, way of keeping the sun's rays off you. The chemical, um, or what sometimes call organic uh, sunscreen, I know it's confusing, but it's it's one of those ones that, uh, it's a product now that's become a little more elegant. Um, you can apply it and it sort of disappears. And if you're worried about how sunscreen looks on your face, um, then maybe that may be the way to go. Uh, sunscreens are safe, particularly in this country, in Australia. Um, please check for the regulations in your country. There are some variations. There's also been some misinformation about sunscreens. The research that I've done and the journals that I've looked at and the medical practitioners that I've spoken to have said, look, it is safe. Pick one that works for you, one that you're likely to wear every single day and wear it daily, regardless of whether it's sunny or cloudy. Please, that's important. No more sabotage, no more saboteurizing your skincare routine. These things are worthy of your consideration.